Hey everyone, Blue Shadow RP here, back with some more Minecraft story mode. And first off, I just want to apologize for getting this uploaded a bit late, mainly because I'm I'm recording this late. Um, and I pretty much just have one word for that. And if you have been watching me for a very long time, then you would probably know what this word is. It's school, and um, yeah, and that's pretty much uh, mainly been taken up a lot of my time uh, recently so that's why I've not been able to record or edit or do anything really much um, during like the evening or anything so that's why I've I'm recording it up to now but um I'm gonna try to get this out as fast as possible so yeah today is going to be my Minecraft story mode recording or whatever but this episode actually came out on the 13th of September so which was a Tuesday, I believe, so yeah. And, uh, there could have been, like, another day, actually. I don't know if I got that wrong or not, because I'm actually recording this on, um, well, today's Friday, so if I trace it back a couple days, I think it's, like, the 14th, maybe. Well, it's like midnight, so yeah, it was the 13th, actually, okay. But anyways, um, this is episode 8, A Journey's End, and uh, this is the last one of season 1. If Telltale ever decides to make a season 2, then uh, I guess I'll make videos of that one as well, but that'll be for the future. So yeah, enough talking, let's just get into this. If I can tap it properly. And also, not to mention, um, I kind of have a sore throat at the moment, so I do apologize if I sound different in any way or anything, but to me, it doesn't sound that noticeable, so. But anyways. We've come so far. Redstone heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. Why didn't you say so before? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? And right where we left off. Wow, that that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the redstone heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. Hey guys, I'm not sure what's up there, but whatever it is, we all need to stick together. You got it? Yeah, we've got your back, Jesse. Ah, <sighs> feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. Wait, you're from here? Uh-huh. What's the big deal? It's a big deal because we've been in the old builder's world this whole time and you didn't tell us. There was never a natural time to bring it up. I kind of thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Whoa. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. You don't sound super happy about being back. What's up? Yeah, I think you'll figure it out once you meet the others. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you. They're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. 
Anyway, I just hope that I can help you. I didn't really know what to say at that point in time, so that's why I just kind of didn't pick anything. This isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other uh old builders. And well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? I'm sure we can figure something out, make a deal with them, right? Oh yeah, they love making deals. Something tells me it's not going to be that easy though. It's always never that easy. Trust Harper. Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? Yeah, I do. She saved our lives, Lucas. Only after she put them in danger. If I remember correctly, we saved her just about as much as she saved us. Don't worry, okay? We're going to get that Atlas and get home. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. Ah, very what? I see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? <laughs> Don't die. Okay. And we just arrived in a crossfire wherever we are. This looks exciting. Yep. We arrived unannounced. A new challenger approaches, or something like that. I guess you could think of it that way. Hang on. I just realized what this reminds me of. Spleen. Gesundheit? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Be like this! Dang. Oh no. Yeah, I gotta keep my finger on the screen uh, more frequently because sometimes I do forget, so. Or just don't pay attention, so. Oh no. Oh. Okay, well. Wow. I don't think they're dead, though, because usually in Minecraft, things respawn, don't they? Or, I guess the people, right? charge here okay it's them yes we are the ones in charge here and we have never had to stop a match ever it definitely is strange Mavia. what is going on here i want an explanation immediately wow they're good they place down blocks in perfect unison to create staircases like that this is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats for sure well? Okay, you're in charge. Awesome. Now, can you just explain what the heck is going on here? What's going on here is you just ruined our round of sleep. 
Attacking competitors? Horrid! And technically uh, against the rules. Ugh. Lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, Sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. Oh, well, if that isn't the cutest little threat I've ever heard. Okay, just tell me straight. What are these games that you keep talking about? I think if we all just calm down, I can explain. Your friends aren't dead. We yeah, I knew it. How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. But I saw them die. How are they alive? Oh, I'm not surprised that you're confused. Tiny brains. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. Okay. I hear it still. Interesting. Well, sport, now that you've come and interrupted our game. I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. Stairs. Lots of them. Are you being a Weisenheimer with me? Is that really what's going on? Wow. So can we get somebody to kill this little moron for me, please? A few dozen times? <laughs> Easy, Hadrian. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't hard. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, Jim, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? Oh, adorable. We just want to get our friends and go home. Sorry, Chief, but this is your home now. Might as well get comfy. No. Way. We've been lost in your stupid portal hallway long enough. We're going home. Meaning, you need my atlas. Very interesting. Well, that's all. Oh, I knew it was going to be hard, anyways. We give anything to someone like you. You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. What if I was about to change your mind? Oh, that'd be hard because, see, I could be watching Slab squash you right now. Which would be highly entertaining. Swash. I love it when he does that. What could you possibly offer that's better than that, Slugger? I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheating. What about this? Huh? I present the Redstone Heart. Yeah, we got that from uh, the previous episode, so at least it's a token of doing something correct, right? It can be pretty dangerous. You don't know how to use it. Not uh Hadrian, you're not getting one finger on this thing until you hand over my friend. I'm not a big fan of haggling, Jesse. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart. You and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? Oh, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. I don't play that way, Hadrian. If I can't have the Atlas, you can't have the Redstone Heart. Come on, gang, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm sure we could reach an agreement that suits everyone. And that apparently wasn't it. Who drive a hard bargain? <laughs> I'm sure I can think of something fair uh, for the both of us. Well, you need the Atlas, and I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, <laughs> I seem to be short a team. So, how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. Can't wait to see what the other games are. I hope they're fun. Well, there you have it. 
A deal's been struck, huh? To the games! All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, event. Oh, enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. So I guess if you chose Ivor, then Petra would end up in the mines, so... Along with Lucas, probably, so, uh... He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Harper, how bad is this gonna be? Give it to me straight. It's not gonna be a cake. That's that. Hadrian has people play the games now just for his own amusement. Yeah, he seemed like a real treat. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Nevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting. And there's the beginning credits. Just for sport. And uh, we're already like 16 minutes in, but you know, it's fine, I guess. Really nice area, by the way, as well. Kind of reminds me of home a little bit before we got into like the whole portal hallway situation. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep, yeah. at least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. <laughs> they didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back, and well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines, which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. I wanted to pick someone there, but I didn't have enough time. There always was one for maximizing useful. Uh, Productivity. See what you can do here. I'm going to try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We've got to get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. All right, so now we can explore and, you know, try to talk to people. So I'm going to talk to this guy right here. We kind of seen him before. Alright, so I guess we have to find him some food of some sort, but um, I always kind of like how I guess some characters in games or 
whatever kind of media they kind of uh, speak in third person like they're talking about themselves so I kind of like that actually Especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> I understand, Nell. These games are nuts. Man, I am so glad to hear that. I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like... Tim status! Tim who? Tim! Like the legend of Tim Tim. On the signs! Like, one! Okay? Like you could! People could, like, already be talking. They're gonna, like, say stuff. Compare you to Tim. That's right. I'm gonna win the games, too. No doubt. No doubt. Okay, don't, like, tell anyone, but I would rather be on your team. Green team captain is, like, pfft. She is so not chill. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you, so if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? No, I mean seriously. I mean anything at all. Like, I want to help out people. Well, actually, I'm trying to bribe that guard. Face me. And he's hungry. Well, um, if I had some meat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Quick before anybody sees us. Alrighty then. At least we found some way to get food for this guy. Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just uh, leave the seeds, yeah? Planting as I go, and that's another. <laughs> Sweet, and that should all grow back soon. Nice, looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully, bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Then I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of, like, wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Alrighty then, now to collect some wood planks to get this crafting table. One decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Hey, no hard feelings. I didn't know what I'd gotten into. Let's just move past this. No. I will eliminate you next round and make you suffer. It'll be fun for me. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long, so you wouldn't know. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our will, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. It's like Tim won. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. We are going to get home. That's all I have to say. Bye. 
trying crafting. Let's make some food. Boom! Bread! Now I should be able to get my friends back. Um, hello? Face me, got some bread for you. Bread, huh? It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Please get my friends. <laughs> face meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Hey, Petra. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. Back with Palma, you picked Lucas, and so today in that stupid game, I worry. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and I thought I should say something. I did what I had to do. Well, I appreciate it. Glad you're with me in this, Petra. Me too. Here! Oh, oh. response! Jesse, man, is it good to see you? You too, Lucas. And Ivor. Except what is he wearing? I wonder what Petra would be wearing though, after, you know, she would get out of the portal, I guess, if you went with Ivor to save. Anyway, how's it been going out here? You uh don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary. Oh yeah, Lucas had a journal. Yeah. I think we can actually get that back if we um do something in particular, but that's a little later. Don't worry. We're just in this tournament where if we win, we get the atlas and our ticket home. Oh. Well, that's better than I thought. But if we lose, we'll be mining for quartz forever. Nope, that is not a thing I want. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> it's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just uh, stare at you while you mine. We can't just leave. I really think we can win this. Good. We need to. Apparently, this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. No, I didn't think he'd come back. Hey, now! I said he would help. That's why we're here. Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting. You being here. Tim, please. I can do anything he can do better. Well, you might just be right about that, Jesse. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway. Dorms are over there. We got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It's 
breeze. Wonderfully!